Coming off the previous training video on learning about a critical path, as you recall, what makes a critical path is a series of linked tasks that determines the calculated finish date of the project. So if any of those are delayed and it pushes out the project's date, that's the critical path because we don't want to mess with the project date and in this case it's October the 6th. Now what we did to find out what series of linked tasks are critical or within the critical path is we came up here and we used the Gantt chart wizard to format that path in a color of red. Well, there's another view that you can go to that already has the critical path colored in red. And in addition to that, it's actually got for the non-critical paths the amount of slack time that you have before, well, it affects another task or becomes critical. For example, come over here and I'm going to right click on the collapse view bar and go down to more views. And there it is, the detail Gantt. Go ahead and double click on it. And there you see the critical path is formatted in red. And these dark green bars, that's the slack time, the amount of time that this task has to slide or slack off before it affects the, uh, in this case, this task, the project's due date. You've got about 34 days. Now when you hover over it, it should give you a little pop-up and that pop-up will stay up for you, it's not for me. But that little pop-up will tell you a couple things. First of all, it'll tell you the finish date of this task and then it'll tell you the finish date of the slack time. And in my case, it's August 18th is when this task is completed and actually this finishes the slack time on October the 6th. So this task can slide out well up to 34 days. Once it hits 34 days as the final end date for this task to be completed it becomes critical this path right here because of the link here from this task to the next because if we delay this task or that task it's going to push this task out in its finish to start relationship and thereby pushing out and affecting the project's due date. So again any series of linked tasks that actually affect directly the project's due date and has no slack time is a critical path. Now you can break it down a little bit further. You've got a slack time here for the start date of the milestone. It says it's got five days before it actually starts affecting this uh, task that it's linked to down below. Because this starts on August the 1st and this task down below here starts on August the 8th. So we could say go ahead and start this on August the 2nd, the 4th, the 5th, the 6th, but if we go beyond August the 8th, which is when this task starts, it pushes that task out, which in this relationship, this link, subsequently pushes this task out. Now this task has a total of nine days of slack time before it actually becomes a critical path. Once this gets pushed out to the ninth day, then that should be read because if we delay that any further, like a domino effect, it's gonna push all these tasks out that have no slack time and bump the project's due date out beyond uh, October the 6th which we want to focus on October the 6th because that's when it's supposed to be due by. Anything beyond that, we're going to be in trouble. So in summary, all the non-critical paths have all the slack time. The critical paths have no slack time. And then of course when I'm finished, I can go back to the view bar, right click on it, and go back to my Gantt chart. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.